Some people hustle pool, some people hustle cars. Then there's that man you've heard about, the one who hustles stars. Jack Horkheimer, star hustler, director of Miami's Space Transit Planetarium. Our episode for this week, Monday, August 19th through Sunday, August 25th, is The Centaur's Secret Revealed and Tipping Tea on a Terrible Tale. And now, here to tell you all about tonight's sky and the biggest show of all, the universe, your star hustler, Jack Orkheimer. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. And in last week's episode, we showed you how to find the constellation Sagittarius, a mythological creature, half man and half horse, who hunts the heavens with drawn bow and arrow. An arrow which some say is aimed at both the heart of the scorpion and the heart of Taurus the bull, but which in reality is aimed at something far more awesome, a once secret something no one could possibly have known about until our 20th century. So let's once again find our centaur. And to do that, all we have to do is go outside any clear night this week between 10 and 11 p.m., your local time, and face due south. And there you'll see eight semi-bright stars which make up the major portion of Sagittarius. Remember now that his bow is represented by these three stars with the tip of his arrow here. But now let's make finding Sagittarius even easier and more fun. And what could be more fun than the Mad Hatter's Tea Party from Alice in Wonderland? So now, just imagine that Sagittarius has been magically turned into a teapot. For then, his eight major stars are even easier to find. Simply draw a line between these two stars for the bottom of the teapot. The spout is here between these stars, the lid of the teapot up here, and back here, a nifty handle that would please even a dormouse. But if you need even more help in finding our Sagittarius teapot, then look to your right. That is to the southwest. And you should see our old friend, the scorpion, getting ready to set. And you may even notice that Sagittarius, our teapot, is literally tipping tea on Scorpius' terrible tail. And the lower Scorpius descends toward the horizon, the steeper will be the tilt of the teapot, thus ensuring the scorpion a hot time in the old tale tonight. Oh, poor Sagittarius from a fierce centaur hunter to a slightly tipsy teapot. What a degrading way to go. But now, look closely between the spout and the tail. For the spout, which was once the arrow, is now known to point to a spot so awesome that not even the mythology of the ancients could have dealt with something quite so grand. For now, modern man knows that here, near the tip of the arrow, over 28,000 light years away, lies the very center of our Milky Way galaxy, a family of over 100 billion stars. In other words, we now know that our sun is just one of over 100 billion other suns, all clustered together in a pinwheel family of stars we call our galaxy our sun being two-thirds out from the center of it. So when we look at the spot at which Sagittarius arrow or spout points, we are looking toward the very center of our galaxy. And on a clear moonless night far from city lights, you can see that indeed here between Sagittarius and Scorpius, the Milky Way is thickest and brightest because of the light from billions of distant suns. And that, dear friends, is the secret of Sagittarius. A wonderful secret, indeed. So, until next time, out under the heavens with you, any clear night this week, face due south between 10 and 11 p.m., and whatever you do, remember, keep looking up. There are only 16 more weeks until someone is the first person on Earth to see the return of Halley's Comet with the naked eye. Will you be that person?